I mean, you know, the... the, the yep. second. Here he is, Good evening, everyone. Uh, Senator Reid and I have reached an agreement on uh, payroll tax relief on behalf of the American people. Key parts of this agreement are that on January 1st, no American worker will see an increase in their taxes. Uh, we will ensure that a new complex uh, reporting burden is not unintentionally imposed on small businesses. Uh, this solution will, at a minimum, prevent small businesses uh, bearing new administrative uh, burdens and ensure that American workers uh, will see their tax relief as soon as possible. Uh, the Senate uh, uh, will join the House in immediately appointing a conferees with instructions to reach an agreement uh, in the weeks ahead on a full one-year uh, payroll tax uh, deduction, along with uh, unemployment uh, reforms and extension of unemployment and uh, the so-called doc vix uh, for two years. Uh, we expect that there will uh, these members will work expeditiously uh, to complete uh, the one-year extension that all of us want. Uh, we will ask the House and Senate uh, to approve this agreement by unanimous consent before Christmas. The middle class families and small businesses are, are struggling and they're making sacrifices and I think uh, this agreement uh, will help our economy. Uh, one important provision in this measure that I want to highlight is the Keystone Pipeline. As you know, this project would create tens of thousands of jobs in our country. Uh, this jobs project has bipartisan support in the House and Senate. Uh, it's backed by a broad-based coalition, and I hope the president uh, will approve uh, this pipeline uh, to put th those Americans to work. Uh, I want to thank our members, uh, particularly our conferees who have remained here in the Capitol uh, with the holidays approaching, uh, for their efforts to enact a full year extension of the payroll tax cut for working families. And under this agreement, uh, we're going to do that just as quickly as possible. Uh, I don't think it's any time for celebration. Uh, our economy is struggling. Uh, we've got a lot of work ahead of us in the coming year. But I want to wish uh, the American people and uh, all of my colleagues a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Mr. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Do, you have, do you have assurances from your conference that nobody will object to unanimous consent on the House side, that you have everybody in line? Uh, I don't know that, but uh, that's our goal is to do this by an ambulance consent. Speaker Boehner, there's a lot of folks who are saying that you caved on this. Did you cave? And considering the fallout, was this the worst week of your speakership? You know, sometimes uh, it's hard to do the right thing. And sometimes it's uh, politically difficult to do the right thing. Uh, but, you know, when everybody called uh, for a one-year extension of the payroll tax uh, deduction, uh, when everybody wanted to... Uh, a full year of extended unemployment benefits. Uh, we were here fighting for the right things. May not have been the politically the smartest thing in the world, uh, but let me tell you what, uh, I think our members uh, waged a good fight. Uh, we were able to come to an agreement. We were able to fix uh, what, uh, what came out of the Senate. You know, all year uh, you've heard me talk uh, about uh, uh, short-term uh, extensions, short-term gimmicks, and the consequences uh, they have for our economy. And, uh, you know, when you look at, uh, uh, at this, it's just another, another short-term extension. Uh, this creates uncertainty for job creators. I used to run a small business. I know how this works. Uh, and uh, uh, kicking a can down the road for a couple of months uh, does cause problems. And when you look at uh, the reporting requirement uh, that came uh, out of this bill because it was hastily put together, uh, it was a big burden uh, for businesses, frankly, of all sizes. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker. On, the, on the conference call, uh, I know that you just told me not allow questions. I know on Saturday it was a rather lengthy, very boisterous open mic session. Number one, was that by design not to have that this time? And number two, one member uh, who I spoke with said that he felt that he had been, quote, hung out to dry by the leadership because people weren't allowed to speak this time. Uh, I, don't, I don't set up the conference calls. But you're the uh, but, of the house. Uh, Listen, uh, we got a lot of members with a lot of opinions. Uh, we've been, we've been, we have fought the, the fight, the good fight. Uh, but, you know, I talked to enough members over the, the, over the last 24 hours uh, who believe that, hey, listen, we don't like this uh, two-month extension. Uh, we don't like the, this reporting problem in the Senate bill. And, uh, and if you can get this fixed, 
uh, why not uh, why not do the right thing for the American people, even though it's not exactly what we want? If, the, if, if someone objects tomorrow and it's not going to pass by unanimous consent, will you bring the House back for a vote next week? Absolutely. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Last one. Mr. Speaker, um, just given the whole last week and just we've seen photo op after photo op and news conference after news conference on both sides, uh, Democrats are really charging that the radical Tea Party element of the House Republican Conference are to blame for this. Do you think that this whole fight was worth it and uh, the political costs have come up? And do you think that you guys ended up getting a, a good compromise? Uh, listen, uh, doing the right thing for the right reasons is always the right thing to do. And uh, while everyone uh, asked for a full year extension uh, of these programs, uh, a lot of people weren't willing to put the effort in as the holidays were approaching uh, to get it done. Our members were. So I'm proud of the efforts uh, that they put into this. Uh, again, it's not always, it's not, uh, it's not always easy to do the right thing. Uh, but uh, we believe uh, that uh, we came here to change the way this town does business. And uh, mo no more gimmicks, no more uh, short term this, short term that. It's time to do solid policy and it's time to do it the right way. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There he is, the Speaker of the House, uh, John Boehner, making the announcement uh, that they've reached a deal. It's not a deal, though, until the formal, the formal uh, legislation is passed, either with a roll call, as he says that could happen next week, or unanimous consent, which is less than a formal roll call, that could happen as early as tomorrow.